everybody, welcome back. It's E cubed. Yeah, the videos. Boy, I haven't made an E cubed video in a long time, and well, I've been really busy. Uh, this is Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. This is uh, my new boy. Uh, he was in the hospital for three months. At the same time, his mom and brother and me were moving uh, from one state to another state. Uh, it's been really tough, really difficult, but uh, things are starting to get back to normal. So yeah, it's time for me to start creating videos. I've missed you. I, I see your comments. People leave comments. I love the comments. Uh, you encourage me and motivate me and inspire me. So I just want to say thank you so much. Happy New Year. It's uh, 2020, January. What's the date today? It's January uh, January 6th, 2020. So I hope that your new year is starting off great. This is the first full week of 2020. It's the first uh, month of the year. It's a brand new year. And it's the beginning of a new decade. So this is a big first, uh, you know, for lots of people. So I want you to make it a super decade, make it a great year, make it a great month, make it a great week. And I hope it's a great day for all of you. Uh, we got an expression here, get your feet wet. I'll be talking about that. And uh, yeah, well, let's jump right in. Get your feet wet. This is a great expression. And this was a, re a request from a, a guy on Twitter and uh, Javi Lopez. I think that's how I pronounce your name. Javi Lopez on Twitter said, uh, Hey, hey, Cracker. Uh, you should do an expression on get your feet wet. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you back. Happy new decade to you and your beloved ones. Thank you very much, Javi, to you too. Uh, thanks for your request. So to get your feet wet means to try something. Try it. Okay, and the idea, let's say you want to buy a new car, right? Now, before you buy a new car, are you just gonna buy it? Or do you wanna go there and touch it, look at it, sit in the car, drive the car around a little bit? Wouldn't you want to do that? Of course. That is what you're doing there is sitting in the car and looking at the car, touching the car, asking questions, driving the car. You are getting your feet wet. You're trying it. There's not 100% commitment. You don't necessarily have to buy the car, but you should try it. You need to try it to see if you like it. That's the idea of getting your feet wet. You need to try it. Do it. And this expression actually comes from swimming yeah okay so sometimes the summertime maybe uh, uh, everybody's going swimming or wants to go swimming but you're a little bit scared because the water might be too cold well the first thing you do many people is they get their feet wet they get their they put their feet in the water they get a feel for the water it's like oh yeah it's it's not too bad and then you jump in so before you jump in before 100% commitment, before you go all the way, before you buy the car, before you do anything 100%, it's great if you can get your feet wet. Does that make sense? All right, check out the dialogue. I really need to improve my English. Oh, you should try Coach Shane's classes. Hmm. Are they any good? You can get your feet wet with his free lessons. Cool. Where are they? www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. That's right. Oh, my son's sleeping. He just jumped. Go, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Yeah, great conversation. And that's exactly the situation. You can try uh, whatever it is for free without 100% commitment. This is the idea of to get your feet wet. It's a great, great expression. And again, it comes from swimming. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and by the way, these this is true. Uh, we have free lessons. I would love it if you uh, signed up for the free lessons at www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. And what we'll do is we're gonna send you uh, two listening lessons 
And my listening lessons are called DDM, Daily Dictation Members. And we're going to send you one speaking lesson. And my speaking lessons are called PIRF, P-I-R-F, like perfect, but the spelling is different. P, pronunciation, I, intonation, R, rhythm, F, flow. And both of these classes are excellent classes. They're not really for beginners. Uh, most of my students, like 90% of my students, are you know professional people, uh, moms and dads, uh, teachers, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, businesswomen, whatever. Uh, we have some college students, and we have some younger uh, kids too, but the classes are for intermediate to advanced level students. But hey, get your feet wet. You can try them for free. Okay, those three free lessons are waiting for you, and you can start right away. If you sign up, uh, what you have to do is you have to go sign up with your email address, and then we send you an email. You have to check. Sometimes it goes to spam, right? So be careful there. And especially if you use like uh, uh, your country's email, not if using Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, those are the best. So if you have that kind of account, sign up and get the free lessons. And by the way, if you're already interested in joining our classes, we have a New Year's sale. It's going on right now. And I think it ends pretty quick. Uh, in less than a week. I think it's over in less than a week. So go check that out. Uh, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash sale. All right. And we got some great uh, prices there for you to check out and join us. Join us for real. Get into the classes. Stop wasting time. Get serious. All right. Uh, check out that dialogue two more times. And together, let's master. I can't get his hand. English. Yeah, all right. He, he, he's going to master it. I really need to improve my English. Oh, you should try Coach Shane's classes. Hmm, are they any good? You can get your feet wet with his free lessons. Cool. Where are they? www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. I really need to improve my English. Oh, you should try Coach Shane's classes. Hmm, are they any good? You can get your feet wet with his free lessons. Cool. Where are they? Uh, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free.